Hello, everybody, and welcome. I'm Eustace Farmer, and that's right, ready or nugget, here I come. <laughs> so if you haven't guessed, this is a tutorial for the PC Farming Simulator gamers um, on how to collect the last two remaining gold nuggets that you can't get running around the map. Um, for the console players, this method is not going to work for you. I apologize for that. However, if there is a money cheat mod on your in-game mod menu, go ahead, download, and install that. If you enjoy collecting the nuggets, go ahead and collect the 98 nuggets. I like the activity of doing it. And then add in the $1 million cash prize with your money cheat mod, more or less, and be done with it. You've done it. It's not cheating because you have to have a workaround because you physically can't get the last two. Now, for the PC users, I have two solutions for you to choose from. Pick your poison. And we're going to do that right after this. Silent scan. Alrighty, everybody. So before I get started, um, I just want to mention that this map is not broken. This is not a fault or a glitch or anything like that. This is nothing but a simple oversight. Um, how do things like this get missed? Well, mod authors, they work on their maps in their spare time. When do you get spare time usually? Oh, you know, after a full day's worth of work, maybe some overtime. You come home, you have your dinner, you spend time with your family, help with the kids or whatever, and then maybe if there's some time left in the wee hours of the night, you work on your map a little bit. Or maybe on the weekends when everybody else is out in the yard or swimming in the pool having fun and you're working on a map. So if you couple that with the fact that Bullet Bill was asked by Giants for the Colboro Park Farm map, and of course all of us have been salivating waiting for it, um, that puts a little extra feverish motivation on you. So little tiny things like that could be missed in the mix. Um, every single live and last tree and hedge, pole, wire, everything, building models, a lot of times they come in separate pieces. They all have to be placed individually. It's a lot of work, tremendous amount of work. So if two gold nuggets are misplaced, hats off to them. They're here, they're just misplaced. <laughs> okay, so the first um, technique here. You're going to need developer mode. And I'm going to make a video showing how to activate developer mode and use it uh, to fly and to do this little collision thing that I'm going to show you right now. So that video will follow this one within about an hour or two. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is be up in the air and then we're going to press F5 one time. That's going to bring up this little mesh mode and it's going to show you all the collisions and triggers um, and all of that, okay? Now, you'll notice that it will take a hit on your FPS while you're running this mode, okay? So it's going to get laggy and stuttery a little bit for you. So don't worry. Don't worry unless you're into like 3 and 4 FPS. You don't want to crash your game. <laughs> okay, second thing to do. Over in field 19, okay, there's the water pond to the left and the forest. And here's the hedge. We're going to stay to the left of the hedge and we're about tree level just a little below tree level I'm going to walk straight off the map I'm going to walk straight out and then once we get out past this perimeter here the hill I'm going to lower down a little bit more and we'll just keep walking straight out and you can follow this little path here and there's that orange box which is the um, trigger for the gold nugget and that's why we're using this little F5 trick. It's like a beacon light. So there's your nugget. Now, it's active. It's just sitting here waiting to be found and collected. So if you want to go ahead and collect it now, you can. If you'd rather um, go into Giants Editor and move the two nuggets into the playable area of the game and then go in and collect your 100 that way, you can do it that way too. So I say go ahead and collect it now and just be done with it. <laughs> so, um, all right, so the second nugget. So we're just going to pan to the right, and you'll see that this backdrop is in layers. So we're going to go underneath this little layer here, and we're going to be aiming for that blue abyss down there that you see. Because we can't go under the map this way, because um, this is a barrier. It's not clippable. So we have to go under the rug here. <laughs> so let me go ahead and hit Shift, and I'll just do a little run in here and get this uh, party started. Okay, so we're off the edge just a little bit. We'll zinc down and move forward. 
and once we're under the perimeter, you are free to move about the cabin. <laughs> now, one thing to note is while you're under here, your map still works, so you can navigate to the field using your map. Um, if you don't want the map clogging up half your view, there's another easy way to do it, and I say that now. Chantry Farm. There it is straight ahead. So once we get to Chantry, let's go up a little bit, okay? And the closer you get to these collisions and triggers and trees, it's the laggier it's going to get, okay? So there's Chantry, and we're going to walk right into the cattle field. And then next, after the cattle is, I forgot the number of this field, but this field over here to the left is field 22, and that's where your nugget is. And I just spied it before we were moving up on it. And now it disappeared from me. Let me move back a little bit. There it is. It's right above me. So again, this little orange box comes in quite handy for locating elusive little nuggets. And there you go, folks. Now, there's another way to do it. We'll go into Giants Editor, and I'll show you how to locate and move the nuggets. Alrighty, so the first thing you want to do is grab your copy of the map out of your mods folder. I would copy it. I wouldn't take it out totally and use the original one. Um, so you put your copy in in a folder called original, okay? And then you're going to extract it. Right click on it, extract all, and then you'll have this folder here. Then you're going to copy this folder and put it in another folder called edited, okay? Now once in here, double click on that. You're going to look for the folder called maps. Double click on that, and then you want CPF, Cobra Park Farm I3D. Double click on that, and that will open it up in Giants Editor, okay? And it will take a little bit of time, depending on the map, to open up, and the performance of your computer is also comes to play with that. There we go. Now, it might take a little while, and it might even say not responding. Just let it do its thing. It will be just fine, okay? Now, how do you move around? Hold down your right click, and that's going to swing around your camera. Start with your W, A, S, and D keys, and that's your forward, backwards, left, and right keys. If you hold down your shift key while holding one of your movement keys, you can run. Okay? Very simple and easy. Now, let's go ahead and navigate over and get to our first one. So that was over by field 19. There's the hedge out here. We'll stay to the left of the hedge. And this is going to be easier to spot in here because you're going to see the, um, the little sphere around it. Now, how did I get to find these gold nuggets? Well, I literally clicked on one gold nugget just to find the file string. And then um, I checked each individual nugget to um, see if it was in the proper position. So here it is, it'll be down the bottom here. It says collectible gold nuggets. Just expand that. The two nuggets you're gonna be looking for is the first one is if you count from this first little purple box, 33 down from the top. That's gonna be the first one that's over under the tree in field 22. And then if you count 63 down from the top, that's going to be the one that's out here off the map. And how you mark them is, um, I just expand those two particular files, and I know. So there's the 33rd, and then you count 20 more from the 33rd one down, and you get the 63rd one, which is out here off the map. Okay, so you can navigate out there, and you're going to see that it comes with the nugget itself, and then a collision um, a trigger box, excuse me, a trigger as well. So one thing you can do is, let me highlight that nugget. I'm going to make it bigger so it's easier to see. So if you just highlight this one here, you should be able to move the trigger with the nugget all at once. And you can double check that by clicking on trigger. And you can see it's not off over here or something like that. So that's important because you don't want to move the trigger separately because... The nugget will be sitting way back here and you'll have the trigger in place. <laughs> but I mean, you know, as long as you have the trigger, it, it'll register as collecting a nugget. You just won't see it. So so I'm going to go ahead and get this more inland and then I'll get back to you because this could take a little bit of time. Okay, so I've got it over field 19. And what you want to do is you want to avoid any other barriers or collisions or uh, triggers. So the best thing to do is just to you know, bring it down here a bit and place it in the grass where you can see it. There we go. And you want to double check from all angles to make sure because, like I've said in a past video, um, you may think you're over a certain area that looks good and you may be way off. <laughs> we'll do it floating a little bit just so we can really see it well. And then I'm going to go ahead and make it 
really stand out. Go big or go home, my man. Or my lady. <laughs> now, you want to make sure that you're also not expanding your trigger <laughs> into other things. So, there you go. I think we can see that, huh? Let's get down what we would think is ground level. There we go. So, another fun thing you can do that I played around with is um, you can copy the nugget and then um, delete the uh, the trigger on it. And then you can have like a decorative placeable gold nugget there. <laughs> um, it's very, it's clippable. Um, but, uh, you know, it's pretty cool to, to have a look at. Just something funky to do. <laughs> okay, so that's it. And then this one down here, we just go right under the map. There's our little landmark, this tree. So it should be down here somewhere. And then we don't have to worry about hunting for it too much because we just do that. And then we look for that little sphere. And there it is. We'll just zoop it straight up. And we want to make sure there's the trigger. Okay. And there's the nugget. We want to make sure that they're both highlighted. There we go. Get it up above ground. And then we'll go up top side. Go ahead and make it nice and big. Because why not? We'll make Gold Nugget Mountain. <laughs> so now all we have to do is save it. And you'll notice when it's saving, you can't move. Don't be alarmed. There we go. You saw it flash. Now we can move. And it's good to exit. So we'll just exit out. And it asks for some reason if you want to save it again. Say, yep. Always yes. Now, you're going to have to re-zip this. Um, you don't want to do the exterior folder because that's not going to work for you, the one that we extracted. Okay, you don't want to zip this folder back the way it is. You want everything inside, okay? And just pay attention because you don't want to be in here and zip this because this is not going to work. Okay, you want to be in the area of the folder where you see mod description and everything, okay? So just click on one here, Mod Description, and hit Control A, Send to, Compress Zip File, and what you're going to do is you're going to name it the same exact thing as the original. That way it'll just replace it. Okay, so as you see, it's named Maps. That's because that was the first folder we clicked on. So we're going to rename it by doing this. This is the easy way. Come out here, Rename, hit Control C to copy, and then right-click on this, hit Rename, and then control V and that's it we'll take this we'll cut and put it out here paste and then we just drag it into our mods folder and it's going to ask if we would like to replace that and we say yes we do all right so before we jump in the map I just want to show you one thing that you might be tempted to do but I'm going to tell you you probably shouldn't do it so if you go into your career game save that's documents my games farming simulator 2017 and then whatever folder your Cobra Park save is in minus save uh, number four, and then you right click on um, career game save, open with notepad plus plus, and what you're gonna find down here is found gold nuggets. You might be tempted to just type in 100. Now you see here it says I found four. If you type in 100, I notice what happens is it'll show every single one of them on the map, but then when you start to collect them, it'll say found 101, 102 so forth and so on. So I'm not knowledgeable enough to know how to manipulate this string here. This is telling the game some specific information. So you don't want to mess with this for sure. And you definitely don't want to mess with this. So just leave it be, collect the nuggets as they are and be happy. <laughs> okay, so the quickest and easiest way to get down there, because we know where those two nuggets are, I'm gonna hit escape. And then we know they're in field 19 and 20, so uh, 22, excuse me. So actually, we can just go over here, visit. Excellent. Oh, I wonder where it is. <laughs> there you go. Let me see how close I can get without it collecting. There you go, folks. The mammoth of all nuggets. If you can't see that, well, you know. <laughs> so it says we've collected six, and then let's see where the other one is. Look at that, you can see it already. All right. So that is just awesome. And I'm not gonna, yeah, I can collect it. There we go, seven of 100. All righty, folks, so I hope this tutorial has helped you out. And like I said, I'll leave a link down in the description for the Giants Editor where you can register and download it if that's the route that you would like to go. 
and I'll also be putting out that video um, on how to activate developer mode and how to fly and uh, use that little F5 trick there. So thank you very much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And until we meet again, my friends, take great care of yourself, okay? And bye-bye for now.